Hey, it's Alan Burnett from YourWeddingHub.com. I want to welcome you back. We're talking to Dan, the king of rentals right now. And uh, this week, we're going to have a, quite a few uh, different days where we're talking about things that you need to be thinking about when it comes to uh, rentals for making your wedding day over the top. Now, we're in the middle of, of Dan's showroom here, so if you hear the phone ringing, somebody dashed in front of the camera, don't sweat it. This is a happening place, i got to tell you. <laughs> uh, but where we're standing, we've got a whole row of chairs yes. uh, sitting here. And Dan, that's something that obviously a bride and groom need to think about. So tell me, what's, what's one of your most popular chairs that, uh, that brides are looking at nowadays? In the wedding, uh, we're, we're, we're coming into Spring Island, so uh, brides are all about budget, budget, budget. Some brides have a little bit of budget, some brides have a little bit more of a budget. Our basic wedding chair would be the white, the white wood folding chair. Um, so like this one here. This one here. Uh, this one now comes in a resin, uh, which is identical to what they used to be. Uh, they used to be wood, but because most weddings, uh, this chair is used outside, uh, we don't have to worry about it getting rained on. Mm. Um, the white folding chair is uh, is a staple in the wedding industry. It has thick bottom legs, so that when you're outside in the dirt or the grass, the leg does not sink into the ground. Uh, I've had a couple of nightmares where we've we've rented uh, a shivari chair outside in a sort of a swampy area, and when people sat on it, they went this way or that way. Yeah, uh, Grandma ended up on her back. You, you know, don't with dress no. up over her head you know, in the but middle of the reception. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so this is a popular chair now. That's you, my popular chair. You put chair. a chair cover on this, Dan. I ask. I, I, I try and talk brides out of it. You know. Um, it looks, it, does, it just looks out of place if you try and put a chair cover over it. It's a beautiful chair and uh, I would strongly suggest if, if I'm not your rental person that uh, the rental company that you're dealing with go into the back warehouse and make sure that the chair is in good condition. Most of the time, uh, you know, you get the odd scratch or the odd chip in the chair um, and on your most special day you don't want that. Um, this chair is perfectly fine if it's in great shape. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, what if what if a bride does want to do the whole chair cover and the colored sashes? Mm. Uh, let's say it's a you know indoor banquet hall or something. What what kind of a chair would you recommend them? Two types of chairs. Okay. I would suggest the banquet stacking, the uh, the black one. Uh, this is uh, once again a very comfortable chair. Uh, padding on the seat, padding on the back. Uh, we carry about 10 different colors of chair covers and uh, even more of the chair tie to mm. accentuate whatever you're working with as, as far as the tablecloth goes. Uh, and most rental companies carry chair covers that fit this style of chair. And it must have a rounded back. Uh, that's pretty much a staple. So the shape of the back is going to make a difference in terms of putting a chair cover on it? Absolutely. Oh, okay. I don't know how many times I've gone into a hotel recently where the hotel has purchased square back chairs and uh, Brian has rented our chair covers which are meant for a rounded back chair. So brides, once again, when you are ordering chair covers, make sure the chair at the hotel or the venue has a rounded back chair. And, and most rental companies will lend you a chair cover just to, to try it out to make sure it fits. Okay. Key. Now, uh, one more question. I, I said to you, what's kind of the creme de la creme of chairs uh -huh. right now? So answer that one for me. The creme de la creme is the Shivari chair. Okay, and that's this style here. This style here, it's a, f uh, a faux bamboo looking dining chair. Uh, they come in an array of colors as well. I carry four basics. Uh, the walnut, silver, a natural, and a white Shivari. Uh, they come with a seat cushion or without. I kind of like them without uh, seat cushion just because uh, I'm uh, more of a contemporary guy, Alan. I like it just one simple color. Um, and brides are all about the look. Uh, sometimes not about the comfort of their guests. Yep. Um, but we can dress this chair up a bit. Uh, we have a silver shivari here with a black taffeta chair tie. Uh, and usually I, I like doing it this way because it's the length of the chair. If you try and tie it on the side, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. If you want to Oh, if you want to tie it that way, I think that's more sort of a modern look. Sure, that's yeah. cool. Now, again, would you put a chair cover on these chairs? Uh, at $12.50 to rent that chair? No, because all of a sudden you've driven the price of that chair rental up towards $18. Uh, it's fairly expensive, and I wouldn't cover it. And the whole idea of 
renting a chair or a chair like this is is for the looks of it and for Absolutely. the chair cover and you're hiding the looks. That's right. Okay. Ah, uh, you know, if you want to put a chair cover on a chair, just rent the pa the banquet sure. stacking chair. Okay. Um, but what's super hot in the industry right now, the creme de la creme de la creme of the chairs, is our new Philip Stark. Uh, it's called the ghost chair. Um, beautiful contemporary chair. It's clear as see-through as you can see. Uh, they do come in white as well, uh, but this is much more popular. Really? And I think when you're going into banquet halls that have a really big uh, crazy carpets going on, the drapes and the tablecloths are crazy, this chair, once it's in the setting, it just disappears. And uh, it's very comfortable as well. Wow. I like it. Cool. Dan, thank you for all this information about chairs. Like, I mean, who would think that, that it's just one small area for a bride and groom planning their wedding day, but it just gives you an idea how important and, and why we're talking about uh, rentals because, and we're just beginning to scratch the surface here. Just the beginning. So, uh, thanks for joining us on yourweddinghub.com. Come on back tomorrow. We're going to talk about many more things to do with rentals for your wedding day. Thank you.